What's going on with the YouTube? It's your boy 345 German in today's video, man. We're gonna be changing the oil on the 345 mobile because it's for sure overdue for it. Let me show y'all what the uh, oil life looking like. If I cut it on, cut it on real quick. Let me show y'all where we at. Y'all, we at a 14% oil life, so we gonna be changing that today. We gonna be changing our oil for the first time. And before we start this, let me go ahead and go ahead and take this goddamn sticker out because we are not gonna take five, you know what I'm saying? So first, go ahead, pop the hood, of course, and let's get started. All right, hold on, let me get this open. All right, now that we got this open, let me put this shit back in. I don't know how this fell out of place. Let me fix this real quick. This is supposed to be in here and shit. I don't know how my shit came off, y'all. It's all right, though. We gonna, we gonna get it all situated and shit. No, I'm sorry. Okay, boom. So now we got that. So we got an oil catch can. So what we got to do is we got to um, we got to empty out an oil catch can now too, y'all. So um, to do that, I got to move my air intake box. So I'm gonna do that. But let me show you all the tools I need to get this all done real quick. So if you got an RT, of course you will need your. 5W20 Mobile One Extended Performance, y'all. And you want the triple action formula, the specific one, y'all. So you need seven quarts. So I got the five, five quarts right here. And then I got the two, one quarts, of course. And then I got the oil filter. But you need your three ton jacks, jack stand, ratchet set, a drill, a screwdriver. And then I got the little sliding skateboard to just move on the ground so I don't have to lay on the floor. And then you need your oil pan. And then you also need a little funnel. So you can, you know, put the oil in here. So, without further ado, y'all, let me go ahead and start jacking up the car. Well, no, actually, I'm not going to jack up the car first. I'm going to go ahead and take out the air intake box. And then, and since I got all my Apple Watch, I'm about to take this off real quick. So, give me one second because this will be in my way and shit like that. Let me go ahead, So, you go ahead, start by taking out your sensor. So, boom, take out the sensor right here. Boom. Just push that to the side for now. Pull out this hose. My car is a little warm too. I was just driving it, so some of my shit might be hot, but it's fine. But um, it ain't too hot, you know what I'm saying? So check out this. Check out this hose. Boom. one and you want to keep all of these y'all make sure y'all don't lose none of these screws you know what i'm saying so you got this one you got this one and this one so let me take these three out god damn yo this might be a little long video because i ain't gonna fake the oil catch can make it a little bit of a longer process than what it actually is. So, RTs don't come with an oil catch can. I thought that that's, that is aftermarket and shit. So, um, like I said, I gotta do all of this just to get under my oil catch can and shit because this is in my way and I, I can't, you know what I'm saying, work with that little bit of space that I got right there. <clears throat> so, boom. Um, give me one second. I need a flathead to loosen up this clamp. Hey, okay, we got the flathead. And loosen up this clamp right here. Boom. Should be able to just pull it right out now, y'all. So let me sit this right here. Sit this right here. Make sure I don't lose nothing. Oh, wait. This lifts right up, y'all. So you just uh -oh. pull that up out of place. Pull this out. Then boom. Like that. Come right out, y'all. So sit this here for right now. So now, as y'all can see, I obviously got way more space to grab this and shit like that now. Set this to the side, like right here. Um, move this hose. Oh, I don't want to get in hot. But let me go ahead. 
I need to tell him to Lucy. So hold on, let me do it with this hand so I don't drop it. Let's see how much oil it recycled for me, y'all. Oh, we can y'all see that? That shit is black. I don't know if y'all can see that. Oh shit, hold on. Look at that, y'all. Some dirty ass oil, but we got it out. Like I said, the oil catch can saved it from recycling all this dirty oil, y'all. So. I'm glad we bought this. And let me go ahead and pour this in this real quick. That y'all. That shit is dirty as hell. But like I said, I'm glad we ordered the oil catch can because that's what we needed this for y'all. So boom. I got a little bit of oil. What the fuck? The fuck is my car making that noise for? Um, give me one second. I just got this dirty. Let me get a rag, wipe this off real quick, and then I screw that back on for y'all. Cause all I can see, I just got it all wiped up and shit. I'ma uh, leave that little bit of residue in there and shit. But let me go ahead and get this back on here now. And since I'm right here too, let me go ahead and fix how tight this is as well too, if y'all don't know what I mean, because, well, that's actually tight enough. This is actually cool. Y'all, I don't know what y'all think. Y'all think that's cool? Well, fuck it. I don't feel like cutting it and shit right now, so I'm going to do that another time, but all you catch can back on for now. Y'all see, it's cool, so... Now we about to put the air box back on with an air and filter, and then we about to go ahead and start the trial. As y'all can see, we got it back in and shit. I I've never had the screw for this one, so that's why I was gonna always wiggle it a little bit like this. But I got all the main three screws out, like I said. Come this back in, so y'all see everything tight, everything good. So now let's do the process where we getting up under the car, like I said, man. So let's get started. We about to jack it up and put the things up under. But I don't want to get my pants and clothes dirty, so. I'm about to change my clothes, so give me one second. As y'all can see, I got on the real street pants, you know what I'm saying? Just so I don't get my clothes dirty and shit like that. So now, like I said, we're about to go ahead and jack it up. I'm going to start with this side, then I'm going to go to the other side. So let's get that started. So let's not forget to turn on the e-brake, y'all. So <sighs> here we go. Got the e-brake on. Now let's finish lifting it up before we even get further all right y'all i almost forgot these is brand new so i gotta open this up real quick so let me go ahead and open this up and then i can put it on that side real quick that's some bullshit y'all i forgot i never opened these up so now i gotta go ahead and build them all up real quick so give me one second y'all. hey we got it assembled i got orange because i thought this was the same orange as the 345 but it's obviously not but it's cool it's close enough type shape but um as y'all can see let me let me lift it up it still ain't high enough, so let me go ahead and jack it up just a little bit more so I can be able to go ahead and just tuck this up under there, y'all. All right, so as y'all can see, let me hurry up and slip this bitch up under here before some shit fall. Let me... Oh, my fault, y'all. Y'all know y'all can't see, but my bad. Look, I got it right here. Let me go ahead and put the link in just so I can lock in place. Y'all, I'm not going to use the skateboard because I did not lift it up uh, high enough, but that's cool. So I'm just going to floor and do it. But first, what you got to do is you got to put your oil pan right here. Um, you got to grab a 13 millimeter wrench or a ratchet set and and your oil filter, y'all. So, yeah. Hey, child, I was told that it was a goddamn uh, a 13, but it's not. So, that's a 14. That's all I can see. This don't fit. So, I got a 15, too, just to see if this 15 will work. Yeah, y'all, this like a 15, 16. This is 16, y'all. Not a This motherfucker on there good, y'all. This is 17. Hold on, I'm gonna get my ratchet. Now, I hope y'all can see this. Let me try to get this out. That motherfucker in there good, y'all. Hold on. I'm holding here real good. So, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and get a hammer and I'm gonna start tapping it towards the right, if that makes sense. Y'all know what I'm trying to say, so I can loosen it. So, give me one second, y'all. All right, y'all, we done knocked it loose with the hammer now. Now we should be able to loosen this out and all the oil about to come out now. All 
There we go. That's all I can see. It's all oozing out now and shit. It was dirty as hell, y'all. Look how dirty my shit was. But put that boat right there. And then let me wash my hands real quick, y'all. I can see the rest of it still oozing and shit for real. I'ma just let it all ooze in there. That was a lot of oil for uh 14% life left, y'all. As y'all can't see. Um, this dude got oil around it. I'm gonna wipe the outside, but I am gonna leave the oil on it on the inside so that way it's easy to get out instead of having it being so tight when I put it back in, y'all. All right, y'all. Now that we got that out, let's go ahead and tighten it. Let me tighty lefty loosey, of course. Hold on. Tighten it right. Oh, yeah. This motherfucker on there good already. <clears throat> okay. Well. As long as I know I can't turn them off no more, it's on there good, y'all. So now let's go ahead with the filter. All right, y'all. Now we got the oil filter. As y'all can see. So, boom. What you do is you literally get your finger and you wipe the oil on the outer ring of this, y'all. So, so that way when you put this back in, it's not so hard to uh, loosen and unloosen, if that makes sense. So... Just take a little bit of this and wipe it on the outside. Boom. In the end, we about to open up our one of our one quarters and we about to fill this up, y'all. And then get up under the car and squirt up on there. Now we back up into the car and this is our old oil filter. So go ahead and twist this to the left. As you can see, you just twist right out. And you be careful with this because like I said, it got oil on it just like that. Uh, it won't be just filled up, y'all. So, I'm gonna take this out slowly. Oh, shit. It's all dripping on my arm and shit, y'all. Oh, fuck. God damn it. All right, y'all. I let them wiped off my arm and shit. I gotta take a shower before I start itching and shit. Filter right there, as y'all can see, pretty much where the old one came out. And let me wipe off all of this that don't drip and shit, too. All right, y'all. I ain't gonna fake y'all. Let me put the camera down because this real. Yeah, I keep spinning shit, so let me put the camera down once again. But as I can see, I'm just twisting this new one on where the old one got replaced, where I pointed at y'all. This shit done made me irritated, bro. I ain't gonna fake because this fucking oil filter. I done tried to put this motherfucker on so many times. I don't know if I got if somebody like swapped the pieces or something like that, but I'm gonna return it. Then I'm gonna go grab another one and do the process after I get the second piece. But for the time being, I'm gonna fill up the oil. All right, man, that's all I can see. I'm about to go ahead, start filling the oil up. I don't gotta really show y'all this. Y'all know how this goes, so I'm gonna fill this up. And when I'm done filling up all seven quarts, I'm gonna show y'all what I'm doing. All right, y'all, we about to get inside real quick. And we about to reset our oil life. As all I can see, we at a hundred now. Look at my racks solid. I see the grass getting long. Snakes, I'm gonna mow it. I'm gonna blow like brown. Racks on me, I'm sorry. Talk here, top of the morning. I'm in the car, got motion. Bib ain't rock, can't fall.